All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here, and today we're going to do shoulders. But the catch is going to be we're just using dumbbells. Hopefully you saw the videos last week where we did biceps and triceps. So today we're going to do shoulders. This is for those of you who may be at home and all you have is dumbbells. Or, again, if you're at the gym, this is still an awesome workout. Most of the stuff I do for shoulders is dumbbells anyway. So this is really nothing that new for me. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do four exercises, well, five if you count a superset, but that's it. So shoulders, let's go. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is the exercise that I love. Nobody else likes it but me, but that's okay. It's a bent over dumbbell, dumbbell lateral for rear delts. So we're going to start right here. Now, I know a lot of times I do swings, which is more of an abbreviated uh, range of motion. But today we're going to go ahead and go full range of motion. So we're going to come all the way up. Now, once you do 15 reps there, then it's gonna get real fun because then we're gonna turn it into a wide grip row. So then you're gonna row with your rear delts. So we're gonna do 15 reps of the um, lateral raise. Then we're gonna do about eight reps of the row. So this is gonna burn. And if your traps or rhomboids start burning too right along with your rear delts, that's okay. That's just more bang for the buck, more muscle. So set number one. Full range of motion. Uh. 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 Now go into the wide grip row. Um, I was thinking about this when I was doing those rows. So when you're doing the row, instead of just coming up, try to almost row it out like this. So that as opposed to this, okay? That'll get a lot more rear delt if you start the movement out. All right, this is gonna be painful. That was only one set. You can change your grip on this one. So if you, just now I did them like this. You can also do them like this. This is another variation. Uh, that works very well too. So we'll do this set like this. Now, they're starting to get fatigued. When you cannot get the full range of motion, go ahead and kick in the partials, okay? So instead of getting really ugly with your form, just keep your form tight, but go only, only go halfway. Now into the row. Four sets there. They will be on fire. Okay, next exercise. Who oh, those rear delts are burning. Always start with your rear delts. Always start on the back and work your way around. So this is a side lateral variation, but I'm kind of leaning forward a little bit. So there's a tiny bit of rear delt, but uh, lean, I want you to lean forward a little bit when you do this. So I want you to do the seated. So seated, just like this. Lean forward. Oh. That little bit of leaning forward gives you a little bit more isolation. So it's harder, you can't use as much weight, but it puts a lot of stress on that side delt. So we're gonna do four sets of this too. Somewhere around 10, 12 reps on these. Okay, remember lean forward. So from here to here, okay? I really, really like those. You know, there is a muscle when you compete 
uh, there's a look that's really impressive. Like it's where the delt ties into the tricep back here. And when you have that really good line right here, like, like Dexter Jackson has it. Like if you see how his delt tries in, ties into his tricep, that's so impressive looking. And this kind of targets that area. So really, really good angle here. Okay, last set here. You know, I was thinking about shoulders that I really liked over the years. I really like Lee Haney's shoulders. Like if you've seen him do a rear double bicep, looks really impressive. Of course, everyone loves Kevin Lebroni's shoulders. I mean, when you talk about big full round shoulders, that's probably the first image that pops in your mind. Um, nowadays, I'd probably say Seth Ferrosi's shoulders. I really, really like his shoulders. He, he has that tie-in that I'm talking about. If you watch his videos, you'll see that rear delt tricep line that looks super impressive. So um, I would say now probably one of my favorites is probably Seth's shoulders. He doesn't compete, but he doesn't really need to. But uh, that's the look that I, I really, really like. So last set here, finish them off, then we're gonna move on. Okay, third exercise. And this is the angle that you know I really love, 10 o'clock, two o'clock. So we're gonna sit down. We're not going out to the side. We're not going out to the front, going out to the front, we're going in between. So 10 o'clock, two o'clock. A little bit of side delt, a little bit of front delt. <clears throat> Good combination here. So 10 o'clock, two o'clock. You're not here and you're not there. You're right out here. Super strict. Now on this one, we're gonna back our sets down to three. Um, we're gonna go around 10 reps a set. So three sets of 10 on this angle right here. All right, it's come to this. <laughs> Purple dumbbells, all right? These are seven pound dumbbells. We're gonna do an exercise called six ways that um, we've been doing for probably about 10 years. This is a great finisher. It hits your whole shoulder, but really the front delt's what takes the brunt of it. So let me show you how this goes. Six ways. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's one rep. So we're gonna do a set of 10 right here to get us started. And then we're gonna finish with one more set. And we need two sets here. So here we go. Eight, nine, uh, ten. Whew. I think the heaviest I ever went on those was tens. Somewhere around seven to twelve pounds is what's good for most people. Um, those will light you up. Those are a great finisher. So, just two sets of those. So we did the super set to start off with. Then we did the side variation, then we did the front variation than that. That's plenty of work for your shoulders. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed that. Give it a shot, let me know what you think. You might have noticed that we didn't have any overhead pressing. You could work in some, um, if you wanna work in some overhead pressing, I'd want you to do a dumbbell press kind of at this angle right here. You could do that angle, but I like it a little bit more out here. I can't even press 20 pounds now, my shoulders are so tired. But anyways, that's it, that'll fire your shoulders up. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time.